It is time for our nursing tip of the week. And in this week's tip, I'm going to be talking about continuous renal replacement therapy, also known as CRRT. CRRT is absolutely my favorite type of therapy or machine to run in the ICU. And typically you're only going to see this in an ICU setting. So what is CRRT? CRRT is a special type of dialysis that we use on unstable ICU patients who cannot tolerate regular dialysis that is ran over, you know, three, four hours or so. The RRT is done continuously over a 24 hour period. Um, um, however, this can be done for just 24 hours. It can be done for several days, several weeks, but it continuously cleans out the patient's blood. It eliminates all the waste and we can even pull fluids out of the patient's blood, just like regular dialysis, but it's much more gentle. There are a couple different types of CRRT machines, but these are two that I use in my IC. We use the Prismax and the Prismaflex. Uh, this one is newer and fancier. It's got like touch screens and cool lights and everything. Um, but what you use this on patients that are very unstable. So like your patients that are on maybe multiple multiple pressures that can't tolerate a traditional run of dialysis that pulls out a bunch of fluid over a, such a short amount of time. CRRT is much more complicated than what I can include in just the short tip of the week, but there are a lot of settings and things that we can adjust on these machines. We can use different types of fluids. We can pull zero fluid an hour. We can pull negative 50 cc's an hour. We can pull negative 500 cc's an hour. It really just depends on your patient, their status, what the orders are, and how well they're tolerating it. There's four bags that hang on the machine. We have your effluent bag, which is where your waste products and fluids go into. We have your pre-fluid, your dialysate fluid, and your post-fluid. And all of these different types of fluids, they can be the same, they can be different. We can have, you know, some potassium in them, no potassium in them, uh, some calcium, no calcium, and they can be adjusted depending on the patient's status and condition. Some of the types of patients you'll see CRRT ran on, besides just your unstable multiple vasopressor patients, um, are patients that are in renal failure. They could be acute on chronic. They can be just acute. Um, they can have be in like severe rhabdo. We'll use it for that. We'll also use it in neuro patients where we don't want such a giant fluid shift at one time with traditional dialysis and we need more of a gentle approach. CRT is so fun because the patients that you get these on are usually some of the six patients in the units. At my hospital, they are one-to-ones. However, I know this is not the same at all hospitals, so I'm sorry if yours is not a one-to-one. -one. I don't know how you do that. I did that during COVID and it was absolutely terrible. But let me know if you have any more questions because I can get so much more in depth about CRRT. This is just a brief overview and I hope you enjoyed this tip of the week.